Hello, I'm Matthew Crown with Apple Valley Irrigation. Today we're making a video to show you how to gravity drain the water out of your backflow preventer. This is particularly useful if the forecast is calling for an overnight freeze and your system has not been winterized yet. We want to be able to get the water out of the unit so that it doesn't sustain any freeze damage. They are metal, they're above ground, and they can freeze and sustain damage in just one overnight with the freezing temperatures. So at this point we've got the water off inside the house. Water to the system has been turned off downstairs. The first thing we're going to want to do is open the faucet down at the bottom. You see a little bit of water spit out. And drain out. What we've done at this point is drain the water from the bottom of the backflow through the ball valve and through the feed stem coming out of the house, and that's draining out. There's still sealed water trapped in a couple of chambers up inside the backflow preventer. On the side of this particular model, there's two bleeder valves. There's a little set screw, a captive screw, meaning captive meaning that you can turn it a thousand times, it's never coming out, it's not threaded. It's actually a handle. So with the slot perpendicular, it's closed. You want to take a screwdriver, turn the slot parallel to the fitting, and that opens it. We'll do that again with the second one. And you can see what I mean by there being pressurized water inside the unit that we want to get out of there. So now we've gotten the water out of the two sealed chambers. It's dripping out of the rest of the piping all the way from the ball valve on the far side. And we've gotten virtually all the water out of there. And at least enough to prevent any freeze damage from happening and give us some peace of mind throughout the evening as it, as it dips below freezing. And that's it. You can reverse the process the next day, use the system again, and if the forecast calls for freezing temperatures again the following night, turn the water back off and do it again. Now, another piece of information that's helpful as well is to leave both ball valves and bleeder valves at a 45 degree angle, particularly throughout the whole off season, the whole winter. We want to leave these at a 45 so that they are partially open, but not fully open. When they're fully open, water can get trapped but between the ball and the housing and actually freeze expand and create a crack in the housing on the side. So ideally we want all of them at a 45 degree angle, faucet open, and water off on the inside. So general rule of thumb is everything outside open and everything inside closed and that should keep you safe from any freeze damage. Hope you found this video helpful. If there are any questions, please don't hesitate to call us. Thank you.